I've never been one to accept victory quietly. No, I like to brag about it as much as possible. So in the coming days, you can expect to hear me crow about how Judge Merchant pushed back my sentencing in New York. And now that it won't be happening until after the election, it won't be happening at all, because when I win in November, I can make it all just go away. And I'm sure I'll win in November because I'm an idiot. I honestly think that I can make reality just by believing it. So if I say that 80% of Americans love me and want me to be president, that's what's going to happen. But before that even happened, I gave a gift to the American people. I held an impromptu press conference, and my impromptu press conferences are always a gift. In this one, I carefully detailed a whole slew of accusations against me for sexual assault. You're welcome, America. Just in case you'd forgotten all the horrible and heinous things I did, not just to E. Jean Carroll, but to several women, I kindly brought them back up with less than 60 days to go before the election. I recounted the events in the first person, saying I did this and I did that. But obviously, after the detailed descriptions with myself as the star, I then said, oh, yeah, none of that ever happened, which makes it all better. You see, we had a hearing today on my appeal against the E. Jean Carroll verdict, and I think it went really well. For example, my lawyers brought up the Access Hollywood tape, saying that it shouldn't have been introduced evidence. And that guarantees that the Access Hollywood tape will be discussed in the media in these last crucial weeks that lead up to the election. So the public will be reminded of it all over again. Like I say, it wasn't all about E. Jean. I also brought up stories from other women who have accused me of being a disgusting and vile streak of filth, just to really hammer home the fact that I'm a repulsive, misogynist sack of crap. So now everyone will remember exactly why I'm an unelectable ball of slime that has no business being anywhere near the halls of power. Hey, don't call me a genius for nothing. So let me wrap up today's insanity with my best sales pitch yet. Everybody, make sure you're registered to vote in this election. If you're not, then get registered and then vote blue up and down the ballot. And remember, you're not just voting to keep me out of the White House. Uh, you're also voting to get rid of all of my foot soldiers, goons, yes men, stormtroopers, champions and cheerleaders in Congress. Uh, you're voting to end the political careers of people like Jim Jordan, Mike Johnson, Lindsey Graham, James Comer, Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Borg, Bobert, Paul Gosar, and really pretty much every Republican left in government. The stakes could not be higher. So get out there and do your part to save America. The whole world is counting on you. I think that went really well. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life rotting in prison. It'll be great.